Boy, I like it. Oh, tell me, dear. Oh, you're gonna love this song. Yeah. Don't go away. It's nice, nice song. <laughs> uh, it's don't, even if you're Ethan, don't run away from the 15 whole 15 minutes. <laughs> no, it's minutes. already it's already been 30 seconds. He's I gone. Know, he's gone. Uh, um, we found out it's not him. <laughs> it's Saturday, <laughs> August 29th. Episode. Episode 108. One. Eight. And it's my brother Mike's birthday. Happy she's birthday! not gonna like that I said that, but it oh, is. Oh, somebody, oh, I think I have a birthday August 29th. Yeah? I think my nephew Brian. Happy birthday to Brian. Well, it's a roundabout now. Yeah. Oh, Car no, Kara's September, I don't know. Somebody's wrong. Uh, why? Oh, the allergy pills are gone. Okay, okay how sorry. about a Fiverino, please? <laughs> Today is called The Passion of John the Baptist, and to my recollection, I'm, I should have checked this, but I think I'm right. I think the only one who gets the word passion of is John the Baptist. In other words, everyone's a mm -hmm. martyr, but I think it's called the passion of John the Baptist. Um, and I know that in the church, the only one who gets birth and death, other than our Lord, Blessed Mother, the, that like yeah. uh, the assumption, you know, yep. but is John the Baptist. Wow. And he, of course, is Jesus' cousin. And my good friend, Father Rich Clancy, said this years ago, and I've often repeated, I can give you credit, uh, Richard, uh, but he used to say, what was John the Baptist's greatest gift to the church? You know, go ahead, tell him. Nothing. No, 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 you know, you no. know you've heard me say this. Yes, that he Getting pointed, out of the way. That he point, that's what I mean, nothing, that he pointed people to Oh, right, that's right. Oh, yes, God. okay, I yes, got you yes, now. Sorry, yeah. that's a little play on me, I got you. Yeah. No, that he pointed to the Lord, yeah. But he got out of the way. Are you the Messiah? Absolutely not. Yeah. No, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yep. I don't know if you use that expression. Maybe he said you're barking up the wrong olive tree. Oh, olive trees are nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Nice. How about uh, Be With Me, Lord? Be With Me, Lord. Up for my harmony, anyway. Yeah. A lot of feedback about the parodies the other day. Yeah, there's... yeah. A lot of people realizing now. I think it's twelve. I don't know. You guys picked. Tyler, I don't where, know. Where'd Mark go? He, he, he can't just. He's he on can't a just break. leave. He <laughs> can't just leave. This is only fifteen minutes. You can't take a break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of the kids are. Roast in the oven. <laughs> I got a roast in the oven. Some of the kids are off to college. Others, lucky for us, are staying around. I know. I won't say how lucky you are. I'll just look at the person and whistle. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ethan was not here yesterday because uh, the other day, the other for, day. He for, hasn't been here all week. Because of uh, college, because of college yeah. uh, classes online, yep. which isn't even working, by the way. I just want you yeah, to know, Ethan. They broke, they broke the, the very first day, it didn't work. <laughs> the first assistant director, Mike DeMeo, stepped in in your place, and it was seamless. He did great. But I have to give the credit where credit's due. Ethan stepped in on Sunday as the sound guy. It was also seamless. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So I remember one thing about uh, uh, Walden Pond. I had to read it in high school. Uh, Henry David Thoreau yep. said, no man is irreplaceable. Take heed, Lenny. That's what Henry David Thoreau wrote, right? <laughs> yeah. it was, Take it was, heed, Lenny. If you I went, to, was the, if you, if you to, went to the footnotes on the line, no man is irreplaceable, went to the footnote and said, take heed, <laughs> yeah. Lenny. Yeah. I think it's carved in a tree. He was way ahead of his time. It's carved <laughs> on a tree out of Walden Pond. Okay, oh. listen, without further ado, uh, we've had all the deacons on. Well, no, we no. haven't had Roger. We're hoping Roger can Deacon still work Roger, it out yeah. with Deacon Roger. Uh, but this is a deacon intern. Yes. Dr. Rick Ashburn. Dr. Rick, come on up. Welcome. So we're going to, you're right back in there. That's your there spot. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so you don't, you're retired as a doctor now, correct? I am retired, yes. But you came out of retirement to help us in the pandemic? Well, I, I did. I did went back know? to South Shore wow. Hospital back in early April for about six weeks to help out uh, during our peak. Um, and unfortunately, you know, many succumbed to the coronavirus, but um, thank God the numbers are down. And, uh, Amen. And um, What kind of doctor better. are you? 
an outstanding one. <laughs> That makes sense. That's a good yeah, line. Yeah. Actually, uh, what, kind, what kind of priest do you anyway? I should. Do, I'm going to yeah. use that from now on. I'm no longer going to say. People ask you what kind of priest you well, are. Well, because if they know order priests, yes, Jesuits, yeah. okay. or like the people from Providence, what kind of priest are you? I say I'm a marine. <laughs> now I'm going to oh. say an outstanding priest. I'll expect a royalty. <laughs> yeah, I like so, that. Okay. Uh, so what? Uh, what's your branch uh, of uh, in, internal medicine, pulmonary disease, uh, sleep medicine, and critical care medicine? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How's it sound? <laughs> Didn't sound good. I know, it actually wasn't even a good <laughs> cough. Sorry. Um, so uh, you grew up, we have this in common. You grew up in Grand Old? I grew, grew up in Hyde Park. I was in the, uh, I was in the poorer section of Hyde Park. Uh, you were right near me. Father was uh, in the, uh, <laughs> my father, father was up at. Um, my we were near Clary Square. My father yeah. told us we were in the rich section. Then we found out that that was Fairmount. Right, that was Mil sort of Milton, Milton. Closer to Milton Reedville, was the Reedville, right? Karen Gill. And we were at the total opposite <laughs> end of, uh, but uh, St. Joseph's Parish was my parish. You were at Mac. Uh, immaculate uh, precious blood. Uh, most precious blood. Precious blood exactly. So we had different parishes. But um, my little sister went to school with uh, one of Father Chris's brothers. Uh, older brothers. The Greenwood. Yeah. The Greenwood. Well, Green Greenwood. Yeah. There you go. And um, so what's your station in life now? Tell everybody what you're doing. Sure. I, uh, I basically felt the call to the diaconate. Uh, one of my patients a number of years ago, and Father Chris, you may know Joe Canova, uh, yes. Deacon Joe up I at sure um, St. Francis uh, yep. Xavier. He had sort of planted the seed, uh, and uh, probably in the early 2000s, but I was so busy with work, uh, but I had considered it. I ran into uh, Deacon John at South Shore Hospital probably six or seven years ago, and he was doing his pastoral ministry yeah, all right. internship. All right, all right. And he had taken that break, <laughs> but I, and I, even then I had been thinking about it, but long and short is uh, finally, um, age was a factor too, because um, the program director, when I inquired about it, uh, said that you know they want you done by your 65th birthday, so uh, I think I'm going a little long here, right? So, no, 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 anyway. no, no. But I just can't but, believe uh, you're that old. But well, you look I, younger I'm going to be 64 next month. You but, look uh, phenomenal. But I, dude. I get that a lot. See, you stay thin. Well, stay thin. Keep your hair dark. That's why I lost weight, and that's why Tony fixes this with special shampoo, and then you look younger. I don't Fine. do any of that special shampoo thing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, we don't I know. Do we not don't do know. Anything. Only your barber knows <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say about the age? Oh, I, I sleep in a jar of formaldehyde at night. That helps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> helps keep, keep you young. Oh, so yeah. that's a good, so that's when a good he, trick. When, you yeah. told, when he told Deacon John he was thinking about being a deacon, Deacon John went, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Have, have you been watching any of these episodes, Rick? I have. I, uh, I watched early on. I watched um, and. Later on, I uh, just just got busy, and I didn't. I actually didn't realize you were continuing to do them, but I think it's <laughs> neither great. The, neither does Ethan, <laughs> <neither does he, laughs> and he directs it. <laughs> I didn't he know doesn't know we're still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, I think it's a great connection for our Thank community, you. where not everybody is able to get back to uh, mass on Sunday yeah. or on the daily masses. And I'm I'm happy that the daily masses have resumed. Yep. I'm hoping that we can start bringing. Uh, Jesus to the community because right. I wanted to ask you that. Um, no, I guess right we're now, still not being allowed to bring it to not, the that's homebound. Right. That's right. The which good is, thing to say to the people that are watching, we're not allowed to do it just yet. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're thinking that'll loosen up in time. Yeah. Hopefully in the not too long future. But right. Because I would like it. to become more active. I have Thank been doing you. some of that and would like to get back into that. And so. We've had a bunch of deacons out of here too. No. Yeah. yeah. We had uh, starting with uh, Joe, Joe Harrington, mm -hmm. and then Ro Deacon Roger, Deacon John, Deacon Jim. Uh, you're in training, and uh, and Mike. 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 Judge, Mike, yeah, Judge Mike Judge is, is going to be starting hey, in Mike, September. Mike, watch out! You're, yeah. you're on next. Hey. So <laughs> I think it's very cool. I love. I've always loved working. With, I've always had a deacon. I've always loved working with deacon. But it, there's a sadness to this. When I say to the teens, sometimes you should be a priest. They often now say. I don't know, maybe a deacon. I go, no, no, that's not what you're called to. That's after you get married and have kids, you get to say that. Right now, be a priest, that's both of you. Go in together. <laughs> you're the only two there. All right. Uh, I, do you have a favorite uh, yeah. moment from any of the episodes you've watched? I think I, I, I enjoyed the first because it was, uh, it was unexpected, yep. wasn't sure what to expect, and um, I thought it was the, the, the vitality you brought to it was, was great. Well, thank you. Uh, serving the, the youngsters, and, and I think uh, a lot of the uh, seniors and everyone in between ultimately 
have enjoyed them. I love them. Um, so I think, I think they've been great. And you're yeah. using your time wisely because you're still connecting with, uh, oh, absolutely. This with uh, the people of God, and that's Thank what's important. Thank you very much, yeah, so. you can tell. Um, you picked a phenomenal song. Yeah. A fav Anything Elvis is a favorite, but this is wicked cool, and when you told me that you actually know the part in the middle, the soliloquy, I was pumped. So you're going to be pumped at home. Ethan might even watch this episode. Sing along if you know it. Are you lonesome tonight? Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a bright sunny day? When I kissed you and called you sweetheart Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear I wonder if you are lonesome tonight. You know, someone said the world's a stage and each must play a part. Fate had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. I loved you at first glance. Then came act two, you changed. You seemed to strength so strange. And why? I have never known. Honey, you lied when you said you loved me, and I had no cause to doubt you. But I'd rather go on hearing your lies than to go on living without you. Now the stage is bare, and I'm standing here with emptiness all around. And if you won't come back to me, then make them bring the curtain down. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Oh, wow. Elvis is smiling yeah, at us from heaven. That was awesome. That was nice. Yeah. Thank you, Lenny. Rick, that was fun. I, one thing I didn't want you to leave without being able to say hello. Is there anyone to say hello to? Um, well, I'd like to say hey to my wife, Christine, my yeah. sons, Thomas. Uh, Tom is down at Elon University pursuing a master's in accounting. My son, Connor, who works at uh, Sullivan Tire in Marshfield. Ah. Um, and the entire St. Mary's and St. Helens community. Wonderful. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you very much for being Thanks, on. Thanks, Father. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Tim. Deacon, Dr. Mr. Rick. <laughs> it's a lot of titles. Yeah. There you go. We're going to go right into We'll Say a Prayer. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> we'll say a prayer. Friends, you say one, two. <laughs> we cut across. <laughs> we Is that your impersonation of Father Bill? Through. <laughs> We're still on. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't cut it across uh, now. Again. Each <laughs> day go back. gets back. You can leave if you want. God's love is there. He's Each not that tall. You probably won't see him back. Yeah, then. You snuck right out. 
Cause love is there We trust Mike's au pair we trust on his Mike's birthday. Au pair. And he snuck right out. I know. Seven yeah. feet I didn't even, tall. I didn't and even he know he was back there. He down. whispered and said, tell Father Chris I have a work obligation. Oh, okay. Well, he could have gone to work out the other door. He's got a tea time. I mean, a work time. A tea time. <laughs> Closing prayer. Oh, uh, Lord. During these trying times, nourish us with your word and console us with your grace. Help us to be joy-filled and to live in charity and love as we grow ever closer to you and in a special way to each other. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I'm so glad we had this time together. I'm so glad we sang our song, We'll Say a Prayer, yeah. while he did his yeah. impersonation of Father Bill and Jenny. Yeah. Speaking of which, it's been a while since she's been on. Oh my goodness. I'm just saying. She doesn't listen. Hey, she doesn't. When, when's the next mass, by the way? Uh, tomorrow. We, don't, we have mass? No. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Oh, I see. Are the bills back? Twenty minutes later. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's another minute over. I'm so glad we had this time together just to say a prayer or sing a song. Seems we just get started and before you know it Comes a time we have to say so long Wow! Yeah. I think if uh, Deacon Rick told me correctly, he's been with friends right now watching this somewhere. Hey. So, hi, friends of Deacon <laughs> yeah, Rick and Chris. Yeah. And I hope it came out as good as we just, they looked like it Hopefully. did. Hopefully. If not... We'll, we'll try again next we'll, time. We'll blame him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll blame Ethan and yeah, Mike. That's right. Take us out, boys. <laughs>